In the meantime, another big story, because one of the biggest fears of gun owners might be coming true. Hawaii wants to enter the names of gun owners into a federal database now. National Rifle Association up in arms over it, saying, quote, this is an extremely dangerous bill. Exercising a constitutional right is not inherently suspicious. Hawaii will now be treating firearms as suspect and subject to constant monitoring. Lars Larson is a syndicated radio host for Compass Media Network. Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. Leslie, why is this a good proposed law? Well, in my opinion, it's a good proposed law, one, because I think it will um, uh, it will stand the test uh, legally. When we look in the past at the Supreme Court, they definitely want to continue to give power to the states. Two, I think it assists with law enforcement. And I th three, I think it does something that, in a sense, universal background checks could do. When you have somebody who has committed a crime, or we know in other instances should be refused to be registered and obtain another weapon, uh, this would do that, and this yeah. could cut down on crime, and it could certainly make law well, enforcement's job yeah, easier. But, but the logical question, Lars, is what about all those people who aren't doing anything wrong and constitutionally have a right to own a gun, and now they're going to be in some federal database? You know, the sad thing about Leslie's response is it shows that she's not a gun owner. She doesn't know anything about it. When you go to buy a gun in an American gun store, you go through a federal background check. It's called a Form 4473. So background checks are already done nearly universally, except for private transactions between friends and family. But if you look at what Hawaii wants to participate in this FBI database, it's very much like what Canada did. They tried this for a decade and a half, and they didn't do it in one state. They did it throughout the entire country. At the end of 15 years, they had spent a billion dollars. It invaded people's privacy. They admitted the whole system was very hackable. Right. And the police themselves said it didn't catch a single criminal or solve a single crime. Okay, so if you have that sort of in your back pocket, Leslie, it didn't work in Canada. And by the way, it's still a constitutional right for people to, to own and bear arms. And then there's this little wrinkle to the whole story. The cost of this database is going to be put back on people who own guns. Is that fair? Yep. Well, you want something, you pay for it, especially when a state or federal government is proposing it. That's no big surprise. But with regard to Canada, we're not Canada, Lars. We do things very differently here. As a matter of fact, the reason people own guns, how many people own guns, even the type of guns here is very different than our neighbor to the north. When we look at a database, though, Lars, when you <laughs> register, you, you go in and you said, we have background checks. When you fill out that form for a background check, what kind of a system is that information entered into and looked at and by whom? When we have people it's, reporting well, who wait, owns guns, wait, how do they I obtain that? that okay, Leslie. Lars, I want you to answer that because you're correct. She, she there is a background check. God bless Leslie. We've been friends for years, but the fact is there isn't a national database now, and gun owners and Americans who believe in the Second Amendment don't want it. When I go buy a gun, they run a background check throughout the entire country. It goes through the NICS system, the National Crime Information System. If I come up with a, a criminal accusation, domestic violence, terrorism, or a criminal conviction, I can't buy the gun. But the record is kept by the gun store. The federal government, under the Brady Act, said we will destroy the records at the federal level after right. six months. In other words, they establish that you have the right to buy the gun, and then they don't keep a database. Databases are kept primarily so the government can later engage in confiscation. Okay. Uh, that is the belief of some people, uh, and I know there's two sides to the story, and that's why we're debating it. But this may be happening, folks, in Hawaii, so stay tuned. Leslie and Lars, got to run. Thank you.